May 25th, 2024. A uh, little bit of a log jam here. I've got some things that are back ordered. Uh, I, specifically, it's the finishing kit. It's the canopy and all the internals that I will need to install the instrument panel. And by the way, I have the instrument panel over here. It's covered, keep the dust off of it, but uh, it's all ready to go. Got that from Advanced Flight Systems. So, but I can't do much of anything until I get that finishing kit. I've done about as much as the inside as I can do here. In fact, um, you know, if I could, if I had the uh, torque tube for the ailerons, I could finish that. I don't have the torque tube for the elevator, so I can't do anything there. Um, I've got about as much as I can do. I've done some insulation. I've got to order a little bit more insulation for soundproofing, and that's fire retardant insulation there. I've got some ideas on how I want to run my fresh air intake, um, change the plumbing a little bit. I've actually changed the uh, heat from the heater here so that it's going to go down the middle. Uh, there'll be two eyeballs here on one on each side for heat and then two in the back for the passengers for heat. And then on the two sides, that's where the fresh air will come. I'll actually route the fresh air down through uh, that channel right there for the passengers. But I'm kind of struggling for stuff to do. So that leaves me with the decision to start painting and I will start painting the wings. Um, I do have a concept that I am going to be working from that I received from Evoke. Uh, Evoke did my uh, paint scheme for me and I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. Um, it looks very good and got a lot of compliments from the few people I've shown it to already. So, uh, this is the right wing. I have it on the rotisserie and I have the wing tips installed. I've got the filler, uh, I filled that area around the gap there. So there won't be any issues with that. Landing lights are installed. I've etched the aluminum fuel tanks installed. Um, last video, you probably saw me install that, uh, fuel boost system there. And so now what I need to do is go ahead and level the flaps and the ailerons. And so the way I'm doing that is based on the KAI and the KAI talks about, uh, running a string from the wing tip all the way down to the step area. And then, uh, you'll, you'll see here on the, the flaps have all been riveted. The ailerons have all been riveted except for the leading edge. And so what will happen is this will be, you can see as this aligns to the step back here, I'm off um, a little bit compared to the aileron, which is level with the wing tip. And so what we'll do here is we'll start riveting based on, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but this is the center and that's indicated as number one. So the first rivet will go in there. And as I go down, I'll go two and two, and then I'll go three and three, and then four and four, all the way down until all the rivets are installed. Then I'll come back and hit everything else and clean that up. And so the same thing will be done with the aileron. I have it taped up and in place right now so that it is aligned, but it's the same process for that. You'll rivet in the middle and then go two, two, three, three, four, four, all the way to the end. So let's get started riveting the leading edge of the flaps.
All right, well, that was impressive because I was at the last two rivets down there and I was still off by about an inch. And by the time I got those installed, I've got this level. I go all the way down here, the tip, or excuse me, down to the midsection here between the ailerons and the, I'm level down at the step, the wing root. I'm lined up here. Wait a minute. And I'm still lined up on my string, so back up here. That was impressive. Amazing how it all comes together. Okay, so both flaps and ailerons are lined up perfectly. So I'm happy about that. Here's the problem. This wing tip is wrong. It's off. Everything lines up until it gets here and then it boop flares up about it, right there at that rivet and the same thing at the bottom so if you look at these two pictures the first picture shows uh measuring the bottom with a straight edge and how it turns up and then top the, uh, the second picture shows the top how it's out of line so i'm really kind of pissed off to be honest that that's how these wing tips are and yes, there could be a way to fix it. I just have to cut all that out and re-glass it. And I just don't want to go into that. Um, so I'm a little bummed about that. Maybe eventually I will. I just can't stand it enough. I'll tear it apart and redo it. I don't know, but I don't like it. Fast forward a few days and I've set up my paint booth. Preparing to paint that wing I was talking about. What I did here was I just attached lines to the top and um, up to the structure, the roof structure of the hanger so that when the air is comes out of this paint booth, it won't collapse over the parts that are in there. Here's the uh, wing in the paint booth and I did go ahead, I couldn't stand it. I am, uh, I filled in these areas. I cut that area out, I filled it in. So what you're looking at right here is the bottom of the wing with the flaps and ailerons still installed to keep, so I can confirm my alignment. Those, the ailerons and flaps will come out when I start painting, but I'm just using this for an alignment purposes. So this is just a filler uh, with some fiberglass. It's uh, the West system. I've got a high density and a low density. And right now I'm using the high density for this spot um, I'll fill that, well, it's already filled. What I'll do is I'll come behind that now, sand it, and then I'll hit it with super fill. Um, and also you can see here, I have a small dent in here on that aileron. So I just, I just put some super fill in there and took care of that. So next video, I will share the uh, painting of the wings.